What's up guys? Welcome to a new video. My name is Joop van der Clips, aka Macaroni with Cheese. Every day I make YouTube videos about crypto and stocks. So if you like these subjects, hit the subscribe button and drop me some likes because I do need some more subscribers. With that being said, let's get started. I had a good sleep, so I'm not even really woke up, but I was like, yo, the Ethereum price is very low, the gas fee is very low, so why not make a video for my viewers? So with that being said, the Bitcoin price is 50,375. And yeah, we may basically went down in a big downtrend, as you can see. And Bitcoin was really struggling to keep this line intact. And at this date, at the 3rd of December, it basically filled and went down. And he even touched uh, 42,000. So yeah, we basically are waiting to Bitcoin to go back up and reclaim these levels within the 52 and then to continue. But we still not pretty much know what Bitcoin is doing. The overall market, let's see what the overall market is like. Um, what is the overall, uh, people are still in fear. Current price 50,490 and it was eight, eight hours ago. So pe people are still in fear. We need more fear. I'm pretty much a bear. I'm always a bear because I like to buy Bitcoin at very low prices. So the Bitcoin price is 50,400. We pretty much are waiting what Bitcoin is doing. Is he gonna reclaim and going up to new all time highs or are we going down to find more support? As of Ethereum is, was basically following the big brother bitcoin but i do think that ethereum will lead this bull run because as you, as you can see is that bitcoin uh, ethereum pretty much uh, had a new all-time high uh, around 4800 4838 so what you have seen is that bitcoin uh, ethereum pretty much had a new all-time high and i think it's gonna lead the bull run so I have a few subjects that I want to talk talk with you guys. Uh, crypto mines basically had a big big hit, as you can see. They had the the all time high of crypto mines was seven hundred twenty five, and the price now, the current price is now at five dollars. That's a major major crash of seventy seven percent, as you can see. So yeah. Uh, it's basically a mind game where you can own you some uh, airplanes and you can put some workers in your airplanes and make them mine for you. So if you have more mining power, that means you can create more, um, you have more leverage to create more uh, mining power to eventually to uh, earn more money. Uh, I've been told that it's very basically a Pay to earn instead of a play to earn because you do need it to put some uh, money in it. But because of the Binance upgrade, they basically took a very, very big hit. So, yeah, uh, as you can see, is the price have been tanked from $700 to $5 currently price. So that's one of those uh, situations that I want to share with you guys. Okay, uh, how is it going with my list? Yeah, my list, my list was going to make me money. Uh, crypto mines, yeah, it took a big hit, as I said. Uh, Ranger protocol at $36. What you see is on many altcoins are very bleeding, so this could be a good, good buy opportunity. Altura at $0.60. Cents. I have a big bag of Altura. Phantasma is, is a good, good play-to-earn uh, platform. Cadena, we have seen Cadena been plunging, very been tanking, guys. I do need me a bag of Cadena, but I like it around the $5. So I've been waiting for it to go down much further for me to invest in it. So what we have seen now is that it basically, yeah, it had a top of $28 at the beginning of November, 8th of November, and we now at $10. So I'll be waiting for this price range, as you can see right here, waiting for this price range to enter. This, this is the next support level where I'm planning to buy. So um, yeah, Radio Gaga is still a good position for me. Uh, Cuerdo, I'm also looking to uh, have a good position of it, but I see that it's been 
plunging the same as cadena am i correct mm, all yeah it's basically going in a downtrend so for me to buy in it's not a good moment to buy in i will wait when it's gonna plunge more the next support level is here it's, it's even had a wig as you can see it touched it here so i do think that it's coming down to this area uh so my next buying position would be here as of cadena uh as of cuerdo because it says is that a good utility case a good project so yeah so the next few coins that i'll be checking out is let me see let me see wonderland is doing great i love the team i love the project i love the avalanche i love daniel sister i love frog nation so i was basically doing my research of it I have to be honest, I also buy, bought me some more spell and I bought me some more ice, popsicle finance. So uh, yeah, Wonderland is a good platform. They do have a big APY. It's almost in the price range of uh, 5,000 and the APY is 80,000. So yeah, let's see, why not open it? I'm still here making a video, so um so this is wonderland i love the project i love the team the apy is 37 oh it went it went it went down so but it i do love the project i love what they're doing they basically are occupying DeFi. they pretty much are creating the DeFi 2.0 so yeah i've been waiting to put some more money in this and um yeah but i see that it's been going in a downtrend so for me to put in money at this position i won't do it I will wait if it go down much further it had a great peak in the beginning of november the 80th of 9000 that was the top of wonderland time so we do see that it's going in a downtrend so it could go pretty much around three four thousand dollars so let's continue uh, moon river i'm still have a big bag of moon river so yeah moon river is basically the smart contract on the kusama platform and they have an interoperability case with ethereum so uh, a lot of decentralized app can uh, operate on the moon river platform and have interoperability with ethereum so it's very interesting so that was basically the first one who did it if i'm correct so that was a big big uh, opportunity for him to create a new uh, situation for interoperability and uh, to be cheaper as ethereum but ethereum is still the number one smart contract platform so do keep that in mind smart star atlas i have a position in i was thinking about going to ferocity but i'm not sure about that tomb finance i add some liquidity to my tomb finance so Toon Finance is a project that I really like because you're basically making money without uh, doing the most. So Toon is basically a token what is packed with the Phantom token and what it's doing it's you basically go to the cemetery and there is where you can uh, put your Toon and Phantom liquidity pool you go to the spook spooky swap there's where you get the tomb finance pair and then it will create a liquidity token and that liquidity liquidity token you can put here and stake and earn t-share so uh the mo to, to keep in mind t-share is basically the coin where it's all about uh, you have two coins you create a third coin and the third coin what is creating is t-shirt so the t-share is basically the coin where it's all about the the, the total supply of the t-share is fifty nine thousand. so that means this price is very volatile it can go up and down so yeah you basically have the phantom token and the tomb token and the tomb token is is pegged to the phantom token and you basically buy them both and then put them in a liquidity pool and earn you some money so i do have a lot of confidence in the project uh they had a big uh hack or there was something wrong with their platform a few um, months or almost a year ago but they have a new ceo harvey and and he basically he's doing things very right and he's planning to do more things 
for tomb and I really uh, like the new CEO so yeah uh, Harvey Yeah, Har EA, Har EA. So this is his name. Yeah, so this is the new CEO of Phantom. And he basically also is very busy with the Avalanche uh, guys. And you see he have his hashtag Occupy DeFi. So they are very busy in creating the DeFi 2.0. And this is pretty much their platform. They had a total value locked of 800 million. And let me see as of now, what is the total value locked of Phantom at this moment? It's, yeah, it went a little much down, uh, 679. But what you also can see is that the overall market went down and that's pretty much interesting so the total market went down as of the few days the beginning of december we went down for uh, it was as two two fifty two point fifty eight trillion and it went down at two point thirty four so yeah the the overall market took a bit big hit but yeah i'm still very um uh, very trustful as it is for tomb finance and they are creating a new um strategy to keep this whole um, platform developing and creating and organizing new strategies to keep this very successful because yeah i really believe in tomb finance so i have a big bag in tomb finance so that's pretty much it okay as of the ethereum price yeah that was one of the subjects that I want to share with you guys. Okay, so the gas fee of Ethereum is uh, at this moment, let me see, 65, around 65, the average 65 guay. And it, it pretty much not went very low as in the 2020. So uh, that means the gas fee is very cheap. Let's see. So uh, the last transaction that I made, it cost me $49 so the current price let's put 67 it'd be $58 so we pretty much have always to uh, consider when you are minting or doing a transaction on the ethereum platform because you have to pay gas fee so uh, always consider what the price of ethereum gas fee is I do suggest to use these uh, extensions that you can find them on uh, different platforms uh, mine I have on uh, my Google Chrome web browser um, so yeah these are pretty much two that I use um, this one is DeFi saver gas prices extension I can put it here DeFi gas so yeah this is pretty much the extension that I use DeFi saver gas is pr pretty much yes it works good for me and it's give me an average price on um, what the current gas fee is for ethereum so uh, the second one is ethereum gas fee is tx street e gas uh, if you've been watching my videos you also know that i um, shared this on my youtube this is the visual visualizer of the ethereum gas fee you pretty much can see your overall what's really happening on the blockchain this is the ethereum blockchain and this is the bitcoin blockchain so these are the buses that be coming with the different price different gas fee the current gas fee is 49 as you can see so you have people waiting people like you and me are waiting to make a transaction and many people don't really care about the transaction fee they pretty much take the first bus what's the current price but 
a few people go downstairs and they pretty much are waiting at, waiting at a low gas fee and that's pretty much something you can do on your MetaMask if you go to your MetaMask and when you have a transaction when you make you make a transaction you go at edit and with the edit you keep the gas limit as it is but when you go down you pretty much can t change the get the gas fee that you want to pay so I would put it around 65 or maybe 45 and that would make you pay less gas fee than the current gas fee that is going on on the plat on the platform so um, to go more in depth so this is the, the bus people are waiting at 62 gas away 62 as you can see so that's this bus but you also have people waiting here they are waiting to for the price to go lower than the 62 maybe around 54 so that's what you basically can see then you can see people are going even people are waiting in line so it's pretty nice to go see that and as a Bitcoin is the same you can see the overall information on it I do like this visualization of the whole platform of the whole blockchain ecosystem so yeah so this is the, the next ethereum block who's going to the blockchain as you can see it's red then it's going to the blockchain so these are people making a transaction on the Bitcoin platform so it's very interesting to go and to see an overall look on it so these are the platforms where they're going from curve finance rarity uh, spooks metamask these are where the people are making those transactions from one inch uh, maker dow open c so it's pretty much very interesting to see this so um yeah um yeah one last thing i wanted to share with you is the asm a5 genesis game it's pretty much an nft game who uh, I have bought since minting for a price of 0 0.06 or 0 0.08. I, I really don't know anymore what the price was, but it went pretty good. Uh, the prices went, went very up. So it started at the price of uh, 0.06, as I said, and we had a big run at the prices of the NFTs for the box. So the box was not revealed yet because the box uh, revealed um, last week on Sunday. So yeah, we had an uh, all-time high of 1.7 ETH. That was pretty much the, the, the prices that the boxes did hit. And I unwrapped my box. So yeah, the floor price 1.15 and we have 10,000 uh, items, 2,004 owners, and has a good volume. I do believe in this project. Uh, we are gonna play with these four unique all-stars characters, and they all need a brain, and they do make use of AI, so you pretty much have a brain to make these four characters that you have in your box smart and to develop them. And in the future, we're gonna play uh, the big game that's becoming is what it's really about to create these uh, characters in uh, what you want and then the end game will be the a 5 game where we are gonna play a match of football and that's what it's all about so it's the first project that really you t uh, makes use of the AI system and uh, it's very interesting to see how this will developing in the future we will um, earn some tokens so the 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 talk the nft holders will get some rewards for holding their uh nfts so it's pretty much interesting and yeah the floor price is one 1.15 eat so if you like this project you still can buy some new boxes on open sea so i think i'm at the end of my video it was a pretty not very long video but I do shared some good info on it if you want more info on um, some stocks and crypto follow me on my Twitter yoke from the clips dot eat yeah dot eat because I really believe in ethereum and last thing that I still want to share with you guys is that I pretty much sold all my stocks because I saw that big guys uh, 
as Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos sold their stocks, I was like, why are they selling them? So I think that the market, the stock market will go down. I have two big plays for AMC and uh, GME, the meme tokens. So yeah, I bought it at this price range. So for me, I really hope that it's going down. I do think it will go around the 350 day moving average. So that will be around the price range of $20. So if not, I lose. Uh, I do think that the short squeeze is already played out. The, the, the big players like Ken Griffin and this hedge fund did not cover their positions yet, but they do have a lot of tricks under their sleeve. Why, uh, and that's the reason they can manipulate the prices. Uh, a big example of that is the dog pools where they've been manipulating those prices, the media. So they do have a lot of tricks in their pockets where how they can uh, man manipulate those prices. So I have a big question mark if this short squeeze is still going to happen. But we do still have a big, big bunch, a big position of the whole um, AMC shares. We Ape still have 60 to 70 percent of the whole of the total supply of these shares. So. It's, uh, I'm still wondering if this is going to play out in the favor of us apes. So with that being said, uh, I hope this not was a long two video. I hope that you have learned something from my video. And yeah, I pretty much see you in the next video. Take care and have a nice day. With that being said, bang, bang, I'm out. Drop these likes. Drop these likes and follow me. Let's go. Peace.